this is Sambucus racemosa. So does anyone know what Sambucus racemosa is? Respiratory? Respi oh. Well, it works on respiratory. That's a good action. But this is elderberries. Mm -hmm. And this is racemosa, which I now know. Racemosa means red. So it doesn't mean red, actually, but R and R. So it's the red elderberry. We don't really use these medicinally. When you go to the store and you see elderberries, they're going to be black and uh, blue. And that's Sambucus um, niger and Sambucus cerulea, I think. So blue and black. Um, but elderberries in general, these are your money makers. They're going to do cold and flu and everything else um, associated with winter time when you get sick. They have the best compliance of almost any herb I use, um, which is you use the berries and you can make them into a tincture, into a syrup. They're delicious as a tea flavoring. They have a really great flavor. So people just love, love, love on them. Um, a lot of cold and flu products, even pharmacology, uh, even mass produced ones are made with elderberry and zinc. Those two get paired together. What is this again? Sambucus. Sambucus. This is racemosa. Racemosa. And you're gonna ID it because it's gonna have these soft leaves coming off in twos with a terminal one. Okay. So it's gonna be because you're gonna see down here we're gonna have mahonia, but it's spiky. So just look at this one, and it's just these two leaves coming off. They're very full. Um, they have a very minor serration and a relatively strong midrib. And the flowers of elder uh, of elderberry, so if you see elderflower, it's the same plant, Sambucus. And those are used as a really delicious, mildly sedative diuretic, so it really helps with pee. Sambucus racemosa, okay, is the one that they're going to show you. And the reason they chose that one instead of the other ones is that the red one grows in our backyard and they can put it in your exam. And they probably will put Sambucus in your exam because it's such an important mm -hmm. genus to know. Oh, thank you. Um, moving right along, just because we're slowly running out of time. Alright, questions on elderberries. This is Sambucus racemosa. They are red, red flag, don't use them. Um, just they have a slightly higher cyanide and saponin content, and so it could be toxic. Um, but any questions on Sambucus racemosa? You said don't use... The red the, berries. The red berries. The red berries. So the racemosa has red berries, whereas Sambucus niger and Sambucus cerulea, cerulea I think, um, have black and blue berries, and they're called black elderberry, blue elderberry. These will be red elderberries. Mm -hmm. So use the black and blue ones medicinally because they're just a little safer. And there's no upper dose on them, pretty much. You can go to 10 with elderberries. But I wouldn't necessarily eat them fresh. They're not that delicious. Dry them and then turn them into things. And feel free to add sugar. Do we know who this spiky, kind of holly-looking leaf is? Mahonia. This is Mahonia. This is one, I just like elderberry, where it's like it's worth your while to know about it because you will use it if you're going to be an herbalist of any kind. Um, Mahonia is another one I would put in my medicine chest. I would use it. You know, we've talked about the rubuses. I, I don't have a lot of experience. I didn't get too cozy with them. We've talked about Stinky Bob, don't really use that. Thuya I use for the essential oil. But this is another one I'm going to put in my medicine box of things I think about a lot. So we talked about some gut astringents, and this is a gut astringent, but it also works the exact same way Golden Seal does. So if you know how to use Golden Seal, you know how to use Mahonia. This is Nervosa for the species name. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the species name. So there's two Mahonias. There's Mahonia Aquafolium, and there is Mahonia Nervosa. Most of the ones in the forest are nervosa. How do we know? They stay really low to the ground because they're nervous. Okay? And that's literally how they were named. So, and then aquafolium, I don't know what it means. Because I, I think it's kind of shiny. It's shinier, but it's like water leaf is yeah. what that translates to, and I don't yeah. get it. But what you're going to recognize for plant ID, by the way, this is all one leaf. So this is a leaflet. Like, these are leaflets. And these come off in twos just like the elderberry does, but it's a very different looking plant because it has the little teeth on it. Okay. So this is Mahonia nervosa. It has the little teeth on it. And honestly, one of the hints that I used when I started herbal science and I had to ID this plant like right off the bat and I had no experience whatsoever was just that it just reminds me and looks like a holly leaf. Eventually you will realize that holly leaves look nothing like it, but at first you just kind of go there. And if you do, that's okay. Use that as like a, a jumping block to be like, well, it's this darker green leaf that kind of reminds me of holly. It's spiky like holly, 
But holly leaves don't come off in twos and they wave and they undulate. They don't stay flat. They stay flat. So that's actually the difference. They, like I said, once you get to know everybody, you realize they look nothing alike. But at first, if that helps you, it's a hint. Spiky leaf kind of reminds you of Christmas. We use the root, and it's like a bright yellow root. And it has alkaloids in it that we like. And they are gut astringent. They kill worms. They help with dysbiosis of any kind. Um, works in cold and flus. Works in weight loss. New research suggests. Um, and again, it's a really great plant. And golden seal is still endangered. We're working on it. Things are changing in the golden seal department. But one thing that golden seal seal still is is very expensive. Mahonia, nice cheaper opportunity right here. Mahonia is going to be a cheaper and more effective thing. Okay, we have 20 minutes, so you have class. Um, and that's it for Mahonia. Do we have questions on Mahonia? I'm surprised. We usually can get through the whole thing. You're totally not. Gonna